For sure. Well, speaking of um, like finances and trying to save towards early retirement, um, something that you had um, I've seen on your page um, and we talked about a little bit is you kind of have a little bit of a side hustle going on, right? Where you do some thrifting, buying and selling. Um, can you give us kind of an idea on what you do for your side business and what that looks like for you? You might have to cut me off if I go too long. <laughs> this is probably my true passion. Um I have been reselling online for about eight years. Um, I started out on the app Poshmark and I just hit $25,000 in sales. Took me eight years, oh my gosh. but um, we paid for our first RV with um, profit from reselling from um, that, that year. We, you know, we make enough to claim it on taxes and things. Um, wow. But yeah, I'm an avid like discount and bargain shopper and I kind of grew up that way. Um, And eventually, you know, I started flipping things on the internet from like discount stores and then I got into thrifting, found like an online Instagram community and learned about thrifting and brands and styles and it's... I guess it kind of looks like an easy thing to get into, but really yeah. there's a lot, like I've, I've literally been learning about it for eight years and I'm still not, you know, fantastic at it, but, um, getting That's into crazy. the thrifting part and, and getting more out of fast fashion and realizing how detrimental to, you know, the earth and, um, workers overseas and their, their labor and, and just the impact of fast fashion and moving from, Mm -hmm. you know, cheap bargain stuff to thrifting where you can find really good quality items for cheaper than fast fashion. And it's way more eco-friendly. So yeah, I could go on for a long time. So I'm just going to (laughs) stop. Um, no, I think it's so interesting. So can you take us through like kind of what it looks like for you? Like, are you going mostly to thrift stores or are you finding, you know, good sales that come in and buying it for like, you know, for the first time or what does a, I guess a cycle look like for you for something that you pick up and then you end up selling off? Um, so like I said, I did start out with kind of like that discount and bargain shopping. Um, but I've okay. transitioned, I would say like at this point in time, 95% of what I own in my own closet is secondhand. Um, okay. there's a lot of different ways to do it. I prefer going to the thrift stores because I like to see and touch. And part of it is the quality of items and to be able to feel those is, um, mm-hmm. important to me, but there's a lot of great apps that you can buy and sell on like Poshmark, Mercari, um, thread up, feel like high end stuff, the real, real, there's a ton of places to shop <laughs> online. I don't have the patient, the patience. People think it takes patience to go to the thrift store, but I don't have the patience to sit on the computer and do it. But I go to local thrift stores, Goodwill, Salvation Army. Um, basically, it, just wherever I live, I'm going to scout out all the stores and check them all out. Um, and then yeah, I I stop pretty regularly. It's kind of like a stress relief for me, especially after a long day at work. Um <laughs> pick up an item. I pay attention to the quality in the fabric, the brand. Is it on trend? You know, what the possible resale value might be. I try to get about $20 per item. Um, And then I list to a multitude of places. Um, I just started an Instagram resale page where I'm selling directly to people instead of having that middleman take out 20%. But I sell on eBay and all that. Um, Something that's kind of I, I, it's not strange, but um, I started picking up like bath and body things and toiletries and things that are sealed and discontinued. Mm-hmm. And those sell on eBay in a matter of like a couple days. So wow. I might pick up like two face cleansers at a dollar a piece and um, I actually just did this. So I picked them up two <laughs> days ago, uh, listed them on eBay. They're brand new and sealed and they sold within 24 hours for, I think, $29. Oh so, my gosh. Yeah. So it's and- kind of expanding into into new things. Mm-hmm.